Hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here today with the fifth episode of the Combrodian Dynasty of Season 3. That's right. The fifth episode. We have come a long way. King Kentigern is the ripe age of 58. Last time we had the rather concerning possibility that our wife was cheating on us. But after all the amount of stuff we threw into it, it turns out that she... Uh, did not and was not. Also, she is now the petty queen of Thuringia. That's right. Technically, we're supposed to be helping her in a war or something, I think. But we're not. Because we don't really care. Right? <laughs> because I'm uh, just, I'm that good of a husband. Yeah, see, that that's what it is. Ulrich of the Thuringian Revolt. He is revolting against my poor wife. And she seems to be absolutely outnumbered, unfortunately. So there's really not much I can do for her. Sorry, darling. You shouldn't have control of that region. Or you should own something closer to home where I can actually assist you. That's right. So, what are we doing? Well, I think it's about time to try to take over control of, oh, I don't know, one of these places. So let's fabricate claims on, let's see, because we took over Orkney last time. Uh, what about, uh, Cumberland? Cumberland or North, North um, Umbria? Let's try Clydesdale, fuck it. <laughs> I do have a de jure claim on, on, uh, this guy, Waldy, but we're not gonna do that. Also, let's give our good daughter, Marag, a leader with which to follow. Earl Maldred, he's been good to us. Oh, I don't know about those stats, though. Ooh, what about this? Yes, Gershom. This, our spy master, who originally hated us, but now he is okay with us. Yes, the Anglo-Saxon populace in Lothian have embraced Scottish culture. Civilized pedants. Good! Good. Welcome to it. Let's use some of our money. Did we pay back those lenders yet? I don't think we did, did we? Uh, no, we didn't. Alright, so that's the first thing we're going to do with our... A ridiculous amount of money is we're going to pay back uh, our loan. Also, this guy, he's still a threat to us, really? Hmm, yeah, hmm, hmm. I'm not too concerned about him. I trust most of the people in my court. Let's, uh, should we release Sinfus? No, no, I don't think so. He's a bit too dangerous at the current point, so we'll just have to leave him in jail. Stupid blackhead. Oh, dangerous factions. Oh, that's not good. 83%, so going to war, we don't want to go to war right now. Going to war would put us in a very bad situation. Uh, let's see. And our son doesn't even like us. Whatever. Alright, we'll make, we'll make Talor a steward. Raise us some taxes, dear steward. Uh, what do we want to do? Just keep letting him do that? Yeah. Just keep spreading that military technology there, Steven. Stefan of Inverness. Yes, that's right. And hopefully that faction will get weaker as time goes on. Hmm. So what else should we do? Well, it doesn't look like there's too much to do right now, so I guess we can just let some time pass. Hopefully nothing bad happens to anyone in the time that is passing. Looks like we won that war that we had nothing to do with. Sweet! Nice. Aha! Finally, my illness has passed. It only took, like, a year for it to pass, but it finally passed, so it looks like King Kentagon, even at 58, still has a few more years to go. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Hmm. It's still real sad what happened to uh, the only nice son I had, aside from maybe these ones. These, well, the, these two daughters. I don't know about Murdoch. He's only three years old, so we don't know how uh, good he's going to be, but Lachlan, oh dear Lachlan. He's just concerning me. His 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 possible not love for me. Yeah, too many held duchies. Hmm. Well, I would give it to you. I could, actually. You know what? Let's give him that. No, we can't. Damn it. We've already given him a title. I forgot. What does he have? Claims. Uh, nothing. Just the county. He's just got the county of Buchan. Well, that's no bueno, is it? Whatever. Whatever. Let's see, research cultural tech, and Moray, yes, Moray is going to be a center of the world for technologies and the sorts, that's right, we're making a big deal about technology at this time, 
Let's see, is this dude still... really? Really? Oh wow, independence. Oh, my cousin. Can I, like, imprison him? Let's see, what's... Nope, that would, that would make people mad. Well, let's make him... How about Master of the Hunt? Yeah, we don't, we don't need anyone declaring independence. And who is this one, anyway? What county? County of Crane. What the hell? When did I gain control of that? <laughs> what? Okay, let's, uh... Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I actually am kind of willing to let you go, buddy. I'm, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, uh, transfer your vassalage to Stefan. Yeah, that's right. He'll keep you in line. You stay out of my business. Alright, let's end that. Maybe that'll do something for us. I don't know. I, I highly doubt it. And Sail Red, the Earl of Dunbar, just hates our flippin' guts, man. He just, he hates us. Alright, use it. Yeah. It's alright. Lose a little bit of prestige. That's okay. We now have a direct claim on Clydesdale. Phenomenal. So, we could declare... Well, no, he's in, like, a bunch of different wars right now. Uh, most certainly this one here, the Cultural War for Ulster, which it seems like he has most certainly lost. Oh, good. That means less men for me to have to fight when I come steamrolling into his territory to take it over. That's right. Now we just have to wait until he's done with his war. Oh, finally, King Kintergern got his own title. King Kintergern Ironside of Scotland. That's right. That's a pretty cool name, Ironside. I wonder what makes you get that particular that name. I'm, I'm not sure, uh, you know, what that that how you get that one. But that's a cool name. I like it, King Kentigern Ironside. Yes, yes, phenomenal. All right. So it looks like Thietmar the Shadow has decided to press for his independence, and you know what? I'm cool with it. I don't mind. That's so far away, there's really no way I can police that. I don't care. That's, that's, I guess I have no choice. We'll let that happen, buddy. Except for that. That is how I see. Okay, well that explains a lot. Caithness, that's what he owned. Caithness. Huh. Well, that's definitely what I need control of. I need control of Caithness. That's no bueno at all. Hmm. We'll have to sit on that one and think about it for a minute to figure out where we stand and how we plan on making that occur. Because <laughs> it seems like at the current moment we, I mean, we could go to war for it, but what's the point, right? Like, what's the, let's raise our vassals, get our vassals to fight that battle for us against these raider scum. Actually, you know what? Meet up right there. And let them actually... Oh, 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 too late. <laughs> oh, well. Well, there our vassal armies get slaughtered. Oh, that's a real shame that happened there, vassals. I guess you don't have the strength to fight back against me now, do you? No, you do not. Oh, well, that kind of worked out for me. I can declare war. Can I declare war? Of your close relatives. What does that have to do with me declaring war on this guy? Huh. Whatever. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't declare war on him anyway. I just want Caithness. I don't I don't care about the other region. He can have that for all I care. Um, what else do we need to do? So we, we do... Oh, Prince Brosif has grown up and he's a fortune builder. That's good. Really? He doesn't look like one. His stewardship's still pretty shitty. Oh, because he's rough and cynical. Oh. And... I guess he was negative two stewardship to begin with then. Yeah, yeah, that seems like it. At least he's fertile. He is definitely fertile. All right, I kind of just want to marry him off somewhere and get him out of the kingdom. So let's marry you to this one. She's got some nice stats. Yeah, those are some really good stats. Marry her. I don't care if you lose prestige. <laughs> just kind of kindly proceed to get the fuck out and we'll all be happy here shall we 
Our knowledge of shipbuilding and galleries increased to three. All right, can we declare war on this guy now? Is he done? Are you done? Are you done? You wouldn't be my vassal? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to take Clydesdale for myself because I don't give a fuck. Raise the army. Prepare for battle. Move into Strathern. Move, move, move. Uh, thank God they don't really have much of an army to fight back with. Oh, poor, poor fools. Let me just crush you real quick. Excuse me, pardon me. Prepare to die. And these guys move there. Let's cut them off. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slaughter. Slaughter them! Oh, they're putting up a pretty good fight. Being completely outnumbered. Called into the Scottish Count Reynald of Glamorgan. Alright, I don't really know who that is. Oh, it's to the south. Oh, you dirty bastards. Bringing in allies and the like. Alright, so Betrothed can marry. Go ahead, go marry Countess Toadit. She's got some good stats. He, oh, there his stewardship finally went back up. Alright. His, his, his state diplomacy is awful. He's clearly not meant to be like a king with diplomacy that low. Good Christ. I need some good commanders. Henry, you're a commander. Brosif, you're a commander. Who else? Mungo. That's a great name. Mungo. You must protect our re region protection thingies. Yes, all right. Play through. Let's just start conquering stuff. All right, good. They got married. All right, all right. Good, good. We have everything we need. Oh, boy. Murdoch asks, Daddy, where do children come from? All right, so <laughs> we could say, Daddy will tell you when you get older. Or we could say, you know, there are bees and flowers. And uh, chances of getting anything decent suck. Or be silent or I'll slap you and you become slothful, wrath, or craven. So obviously, Dad's going to tell you when you're older, buddy. And hope you get the decent one. Yes, he got diligent! Oh, perfect. Oh, man, that could have been really, really bad if we didn't get diligent. But we got it, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine and dandy. And soon this war between us and Clydesdale will end. And we will add Clydesdale to the Scottish Kingdom. And eventually we will move back and reconquer sweet, sweet Caithness. That's right. My lord, there's a noble warrior at the gate. He says he's a veteran of many battles and desires to become a champion of your house. He prays you wisdom and honor. Absolutely. Join us, you tread. Hopefully, he's not a bad guy. And it looks like the forces of Glamorgan have landed in Carrick. Let us wipe them from the field. Oh, that, no, you guys have a heels advantage? Well, that's all right. I have a numbers advantage. My wife is pregnant again. Okay, my wife is like all the way down here and is currently at war so this is concerning to me <laughs> and she is getting pregnant a lot I mean a lot oh what are they conquering that absolutely not get in there why get, get, get them out of here get them out of here yeah that's right get out of my face this is my house my country my territory and I will conquer it justly as it is indeed mine. Yes. Okay, apparently the son was already born, and his name shall be, fuck it, Moldovan. That's fine. Let's just create all sorts of fucking names. Because this, this, Jesus, these, all these kids, and I just don't believe, oh, well, my wife died of pneumonia. This dude is living past his wives pretty, pretty stellarly. <laughs> I mean, his wives are just dying, and he's just like, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here, and I'm kicking, and I'm breathing. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks for watching the fifth episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Show some support for me if you enjoy the content. That's right, and expect a couple more episodes before we end this one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.